a place in the quarter final. Don't call out when they're at the table, please. It's amazing, John, the number of times this pot's been left, a half chance left. Yeah, I think this cloth is uh, slim quite a bit. Second cushion, and it's, they're not getting round behind the yellow, so it's been prominent all night, this red. The trouble is, Mars has not really put too many of them. He's looking a little bit disillusioned at the minute. Absolutely spot on. A couple of reds to the left, one to the right. No need to play any cannons just yet. I mean, he could go into the pink if he wanted to, but there's three reds available. So it's into the pink, and uh, while well, he's finished on one, but it could have been a lot better. 40. Didn't quite hit the pink full ball. If this one goes to the middle, it'll be a bonus for him. I'm uh, not so sure that one in the centre goes, to be honest with you. It's not like the old days with the nap on the table, Dennis, where you could play that one for the far jaw and bend into the middle. They don't move on these tables. Yeah, that's because they're so thin. There's not that much nap on the cloth. I'm sure I'm sure we'll be trying to get this 50. match over as quickly as possible. I mentioned earlier this evening they played in the UK and it looked like he was winning quite comfortably. I know that because Willie Thorne had booked his table for dinner and thought his commentary stint was over. And then Martin came back and made it a tough match for him, 6-4 in the end, and Willie was late for dinner. Swipe. You won't want to repeat that. Twenty-one. Well, that is a classic there of Sean Murphy's cue action. Watch the cue ball. It stops, and then have a look at that. It just keeps on spinning. All about timing. Twenty-nine. Such a heavy scorer, Sean. Okay, he's missed one or two balls this evening. You wouldn't expect him to miss. And missed a couple by a long but when he's been in amongst them and he looks like he's gonna he has done. Thirty seven. That was an interesting little shot. I thought he might have put up for the blue there, but yeah, I think if he had a choice again he would do, John, because it hasn't quite worked out for him. He's hampered himself slightly. I don't quite know what shot he played there because he's left himself quite high on the black. The pink is tricky middle. He won't be taking that on. That was a surprise. Long blue again, is it? Blue ball. And the only shots he's missed in this match has been a couple of long ones. Not this time. He's got to pull another one out. Good queuing here, though. 
42. Yes, you'd already have to see that if you potted the blue, there was a gap to get between the blue and the red for the red on the right hand side closest to the corner. So one good shot required with the rest. No problem. 43. He's pretty good with the rest. He doesn't miss much, Sean Murphy. That's the type of shot that he hits as good as any in the game. Really, he just gets so much work out of the ball. I mean, that's a shot that he hits so purely. 51. And aside from that positional shot, a couple of shots ago, this has been excellent. Had to pull out a long blue to keep it going, but has done so. And if you ask me the question, is he capable of winning the Masters? It's a resounding yes. You have to be at his game. 58. So many good players here this week at Alexandra Palace, but he's got the capabilities. The tournament he enters, he should think 59. he's got a chance of winning, of course, but just nice to get to that semi final stage and hopefully progress. But a lot of snookers have he played yet. Yes, his, his eighth appearance in the Masters. He's lost in four quarter finals. 66. 67. This be his year. That's the one that means that Martin Gould 74. will be going out in the first round in his first Masters. All started so 75. well for Martin. But that one green that we've mentioned on numerous occasions seemed to turn the match around. Just coming up to two hours. Eighty-two. And there he is into the 90s with his pot success rate. That's what you're looking for. 83. Eight blacks, four blues. 88. Another terrific crowd in this evening. Alexander Palace, the new host of the Masters. One, two, five, still the highest break 90. so far. We're only in day two. Sean's already had 107 in frame three. Yes, and his scoring has been 97. very impressive. 107, 59, 82, 89. And these to follow. Yeah! Break of 104 plus. 104. And if you can't score a modern game, you won't win anything. But at the moment, Five. this is his best department. Clear the colours up, it would set the target. 139 would take a little bit of ding, but the standard is so high these days. 107. Even 139 uh, might not take the high break. 121. Well, fabulous game for this break. And if he maintains this score in form, it's going to be a handful in this tournament. This has been absolutely excellent break. Yeah, it's the fourth time these players have made Martin Gould look like he was going to 
break that run, but it wasn't to be. He started so well, but Sean Murphy is congratulated by Martin Gould, and the former world champion applauds the crowd here, and quite rightly so. He's finished in style with that magnificent break, and he takes the match six frames to two. Just pleased to get into the next round. You know, this isn't an event historically any good for me, which is a shame because it's such a great tournament. Um, maybe a new venue, new start for me. Uh, who knows? But, you know, I came here wanting to do well and I played well. I was pleased that I was able to entertain the crowd a bit and give them what they wanted to see. And, uh, yeah, it could have been worse. The London crowd are, are unique, I think, in their appreciation for snooker. They love it. And uh, it, it's great as a sportsman and as an entertainer to go where you're wanted. And, um, you know, I think the crowds here don't mind if it's a little bit tactical. They don't mind if it gets a bit bogged down. But, of course, everyone loves to see the break going in. And tonight had a bit of, bit of everything. Yes, and everybody loves that 139 going, <clears throat> excuse me, two centuries from Sean Murphy. And, uh, you know, I think a lot of the players are feeling like Sean. New start, maybe a new chance. But there's absolutely no reason why Sean Murphy uh, can't win the bench. No, no, no reason whatsoever. He's, uh, we were just talking about uh, how, how well he cues the ball, as the lad said in commentary. You know, he's one of the best that we have in a game. And, uh, yeah, it's surprising that he's done uh, a lot better in the Masters tournament. But I think it's only a matter of time. He, you know, he's always there, he's very consistent, and he's always like one of the top players in every tournament that we have now on the calendar. And uh, he's always been very, very consistent as well, but beautiful cues. And when he gets in around the ball, he gets on with it as well. You know, he doesn't, he's not a slouch in any department, and uh, he's very, very tough to beat when he's on top of his game. For you, Stephen, why has he got back at the quarterfinal stage? Four quarterfinals. Um, as I said earlier, for, for, for his talent and how high he's up in the rankings, he's never been prolific winner. He's obviously won the world, he's won the UK, he's won the biggest events, but he's never won, he's never won to win two or three every season. Mm. So perhaps um, there's something he has to look at, but in terms of when he gets in front, he's tremendous at dominating an opponent, you know what I mean, and really a tremendous front runner. Okay, well you mentioned that he'd won the UK and the world, and I was doing a little bit of uh, research here, and it's a wee quiz question for you chaps, and indeed at you at home. Um, seven players have won the Triple Crown, that's the UK, the world, and of course the Masters Tournament. Not necessarily in one season, that is some feat. Somebody's done it in this studio, of course. But <laughs> the seven men, let's name them. Stephen, OK, that's a given. Kenny, are you going to have a go? Uh, John Higgins. Yep. Ronnie O'Sullivan. Yep. Davis. Yep. Mark Williams. Correct. Neil Robertson. No. Oh. We're talking Alex Higgins and one more. Wow. Alex Higgins. A man you know Not very Cliff well. Tallborn, no. no. Dennis. No. no. Any ideas at home? Terry Griffiths. Terry Griffiths. Yeah. Terry so there you go. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, Sean Murphy trying to join that exclusive club, and it's nice.